Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's been a while since I've recorded stuff. Uh, I think you remember on my last video, I mentioned that uh, I was going to be out of pocket for a little while, going on military duty and trying to maintain a couple different jobs. Um, goodness, I took a day today. I met with some friends, did a, uh, did a little ride in Pisgah National Forest. Uh, we just had such a great time that I didn't get a chance to absolutely record anything. Uh, we were just rocking and rolling talking on the CB and just, uh, man, we had a really good time. But anyways, I got to thinking today that, you know, it's been a, um, sorry, thought something was wrong with my, uh, my camera there. Uh, but anyways, it's been a while since I actually recorded something. And I thought, uh, since I didn't get a chance to do that today, that maybe I would give you guys a little bit of a walk around of the, uh, the forerunner. Uh, some of you know I've got uh, two forerunners. I've got a 2016, uh, of course, fifth gen, and then 2018. The um, 2016 is just a SR5 that I've done uh, just a few things to, not a lot actually, just a kind of a goby rack, ladder, a few things as suspension. Uh, on the 2018, it's a TRD uh, off road, which I love. Um, and I put it through its paces and it is literally taking just about everything that I can actually throw at it So with that being said, I thought I'd show you guys a few of the things that I've done to it a few of the mods that uh, I have enjoyed I may not remember all the exact names of everything uh, But I can tell you that I absolutely love every bit of it. So with that, let's go ahead and start a uh, little bit of a walk around uh, I mentioned kind of uh, fifth gen forerunner here so with that, let's start the uh, the walk around. Uh, first thing I've got on the front here is a Southern style off road. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of this as I mentioned before, but it's a uh, slimline, I believe it was the name of it that came with the uh, the light bar in it, which is pretty uh, pretty stinking cool. Uh, light bar is uh, pretty stinking bright compared to another one that I have here that I'll mention in just a second. Uh, but I also have on here the Smitty built. Um, Smitty built winch. I believe it's the 12,000 pound. It's the one that comes with the uh, the remote control to it. Uh, it's awesome. I actually, unfortunately, have not had the chance to actually use this winch yet. Thankfully, I've never been in a situation where I needed to uh, to use it or I needed it to uh, to help someone else out. I've always been able to get out with the uh, the Max tracks, which has been uh, a little bit of a blessing. Uh, and a curse. Uh, hopefully I never have to use it. Hopefully it's just one of those things you have as a uh, just in case, but um, it's there just in case, right? Uh, of course the TRD wheels that come with it, um, you know, as part of the uh, the regular package. And then the Toy Tech. I've got the, uh, the Toy Tech uh, lift, which I think uh, was, I think I did the two or the two and a half. I can't remember now. Um, I think it was the I think it was the two inch um, and then I got the uh, you can't really see it in there I'll get around to the back here and show it in a minute but I've got the boss um, suspension as well uh, just a couple months ago I added the uh, the Dobson's snorkel to it um, shout out to Ryan at uh, Mike Johnson Toyota in Hickory he does all of my work I, I uh, my uh, Ryan and I have developed a, a really close friendship uh, he's an off-roader himself uh, doesn't get out as much as he'd like I think he would say but he knows uh, how to work these things uh, and he does an absolutely fantastic job next uh, up on the top as we kind of move to the top here I've got the front runner rack uh, which I love uh, it's the one that extends out of course I've got the sunroof as well um, but this rack actually goes over the sunroof um, and long enough and I got this from Apex Overland um, another veteran owned business which uh, as a veteran I love to support veteran owned businesses and they have their own branded light bar uh, which is pretty cool it's got the ambers and the whites uh, super bright as well uh, both of those are a lot brighter than the light bar that I have on the uh, 2016 forerunner the uh, front runner rack is actually held up really really well I put a lot of stuff on this rack a lot um, the only thing I've been dissatisfied with is uh, a little bit of the, um, I guess the finish has come off here in a lot of different places. Uh, you can kind of see it there on the top. 
Um, I've already replaced probably five of those boards and front runner has been good about sending me new ones uh, but man that finish uh, just comes off on the regular I've got a can that I can use to spray it and spraying it's not that big of a deal uh, except for the fact that you really got to be careful or you got to take the entire uh, rack down to be able to spray it um, yeah sure you can cover some stuff up and you can be smart about it that way but um, yeah, it's just frustrating to kind of do all that uh, on the regular. Uh, I've got some kind of uh, lights here for the back. They automatically turn on when I turn on uh, the reverse or go in reverse. They're just cheap Amazon lights that I got for like 30 or 40 bucks. And then you'll see up here, um, this is actually the Safari rack. So it's a rack that's very similar to the Gobi, uh, which is part of the front runner. Um, I took it down for right now. It's really hard to put up the tent when that's up there But I will tell you that when you put that up uh, these corner pieces uh, You're pretty much Dedicated to those corner pieces unless you disassemble the entire rack uh, and take it off and that uh, ugh, That's frustrating because that just rides around on the top. So uh, feel sure front runner a pretty smart group They can figure something out there. Um, I tried taking a bunch of stuff off. I've of course nicked uh, that's just a little love patch. Uh, back here. So pretty cool little uh, gig here. This is from Detours of Maine. Uh, Detours of Maine uh, little hitch carrier. I looked at a bunch of different ones, uh, but the Wilco um, one I really, really liked. It was just a little outside of my price range at the time. So I went with this Detours of Maine and it latches, of course, down here. Um, you know, you can latch this in, of course. Um, but it swings all the way open, which is really, really nice. It comes, uh, you know, bare metal, and I just uh, sprayed it with the, uh, like, a truck bed coating type thing. But it's awesome to have that extra tire up there. And then, of course, on the back of it, I've got the uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear trash bag, and I, I really, really dig that thing. So uh, I'll keep going around the outside here. And then we'll dive into the inside. So of course I mentioned the uh, Amazon lights that I have. Uh, they're called Light Light Fox, I guess is the name of them. Literally guys, like 30 bucks on Amazon and they work just fine. They're not super bright, but they work just fine. Uh, of course it's part of the front runner rack and it's the reason I love it personally over my Gobi rack uh, on the other one. Love the Gobi rack, but I love the accessories that I can put on to, uh, to this one. Uh, on the front runner rack, so that's really cool. So of course I got the Max Track boards. Uh, there's a little piece up here that uh, comes on and off pretty easily to hold those Max Track boards. And then my Crazy Beaver shovel, which has gotten really good use and actually it's aged really, really well. Uh, I always just wash it after I'm done with it if I if I happen to use it. Uh, going back here, I mentioned before the uh, the Toy Tech Boss lifts. Um, so that's the, uh, um, or suspensions rather. Um, so that's just a little suspension that I have. I probably eventually want to go to something, uh, a step up from there. Probably something in Kings or maybe Icons. The Icons I like a lot, but um, man, you can get into some money on those. But uh, like folks I hear from with, uh, you know, Lifestyle Airland loves his. Swell Runner loved his before he sold his Forerunner. Um, so lots of good options out there. Uh, next up for me will probably be right now. I have the predator step bars on here um, It's lifted enough where I still have enough clearance to do most anything that I need to do um, But if I'm being completely honest, I'll probably switch those out for bud built um, Sliders as well as I'll probably go with their complete armor system uh, I like bud built just because it's a North Carolina company. Uh, they're made here in North Carolina North Carolina folks. Uh, I like buying local just personal preference um, you know, teach their own, right? Uh, so let's uh, let's dive in here to the inside real quick, and I'll show you guys what I got going on on the inside. A little bit of a mess right now because I told you that uh, I've actually been uh, I've been traveling a little bit uh, today. Um, first up here is the uh, Expedition Essentials. I don't need. I think they call it a T Pam. Um, this just actually bolts into uh, right above your vents here. Uh, and then I've got some ram mounts that go in. Um, basically, you can put your phone here. This just uh, clips in for your phone. And then I've got the iPad up here, and I use it for Gaia GPS, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, for me, I'm six foot three, so it doesn't limit my view that much. 
um, really hardly any. I can look over this and still have plenty of clearance. Um, that's kind of my view, if you will. But yeah, I love this thing up here. Uh, I had the one from Ram mounts that uh, mounted into the floorboard down here. That was a bit of a pain because if I ever had a passenger, uh, they were always running into it uh, or their leg was bumping into it, which was kind of frustrating. So, uh, or frustrating to them. So, I uh, moved it all up here. The expedition. expedition Okay, sorry for the going in and out. I'm having some issues with the GoPro on the formatting. Uh, it keeps wanting me to reformat the card. But anyways, my buddy that installed it said, uh, pretty easy install. Uh, love being able to kind of have everything here as I'm waiting on the girls at different things. Um, it's super convenient to uh, just be able to watch a video or something while they're in uh, dance or you know whatever they may be in. Um, this piece from the... Um, uh, from the ram mounts is really really cool. So uh, it's really easy to come out and it actually locks in place and it charges uh, Through the little port thing that they have here and uh, when I All kinds of issues today, sorry about this uh, But when I lock it in place There's actually a key back here that I can utilize uh, and that key can actually literally lock it in place where I can leave the iPad there all the time and nobody can uh, can take it because it's literally uh, like a lock and key. Uh, next thing I have um, is the ARB links system. This thing is really, really cool. Um, it'll actually tell me once the car uh, is going, what the speed is, what the uh, altitude may be, heading. I can change all of this stuff. Uh, I can you know, alter the suspension if I want to. It'll tell me uh, my pitch. Uh, if I've got any roll going on, I can change time zones on here. Um, if so equipped, mine is not. I can change the traction control. You can uh, fix the compressor. Um, which that may be, that's on my short list, uh, is to add a compressor. Right now I just have a handheld one. Um, it'll tell you what the battery health is. And then over here I've got all of the, um, you can basically do the same stuff over here. Oops. Um, well, here we go. But I can turn on all the light bars if I want, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, and that, of course, will change them on the outside. The only thing I don't like about it is when I'm driving, um, by myself and maybe on a road late at night uh, you know far service road or something if I've got these on um, it's kind of hard to depress them if you're kind of rolling all around the place and you're trying to you know press the button uh, because you're hitting and you're trying not to blind uh, your fellow off-roader that's headed your way um, that can become a little difficult at times but it basically installs underneath here underneath the uh, the front seat uh, and then the wire runs up through the uh, the sidewalls there uh, moving back to the back uh, the only thing I guess there's two things I have back here they're kind of cool of course I got the Dometic fridge uh, the CFX 75 dual zone uh, which is pretty cool for me um, you know you've got the port in the back where you can actually use to charge it while the car is running uh, I had them rewire the battery so that it was just continuously on. Downside of that is, man, it drained the battery fast. So I've got some uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400s, uh, two of those that I plug in parallel that I'll use uh, when I'm out and about for a while or when I'm here at the house. Uh, I don't always have this hooked up. It's just, uh, you know, every once in a while when I'm gonna be on a trip for a day or two, I'll throw it in there. Um, and that can be off-roading trip or if I'm going across state or cross country, whatever, uh, I'll throw it in there as well. But that's pretty much it. Otherwise, if I'm home and I have it and I'm just home for a little bit, I'll just plug it in the, the house. Uh, and do it. The other thing I have, uh, I become kind of a, a big fan of the Dobsons. I mentioned the snorkel before. I also have their drawers, uh, which are pretty stinking cool and they uh, fit, but you know, got all kinds of things in here uh, from tools to uh, extra patches that I still need to put up to uh, uh, IFAC or JFAC now. Uh, lots of other little things. I got my compressor, a hammock in here, some zip ties, uh, ARB stuff, um, you know tire stuff um, bite and sting kit for snakes here in the area which a lot of the places I go off-roading uh, there are um, 
well, there's copper snake, uh, copperhead snakes, quite a bit of those. Uh, and then the other one, I've just got some rain gear stuff, some movies for the kids, some boots if I gotta uh, absolutely get out, just some uh, little odds and end things in there. Uh, only critique of the Dobson drawers, I, I do really, really like them. Uh, there's two things. One is you really got to slam the doors for them to uh, to shut. Uh, I, but that's pretty much the only critique. And that, the uh, well, the other thing, which is not necessarily their fault, is when you have these drawers in, you lose all the extra space here. I don't know, probably uh, 12, 15 inches. So if you want to put uh, different things in, you don't have as much clearance. Uh, you know, to turn things side to side to go here, um, you really only kind of limited from a uh, little less space. So, so I guess probably the last thing I'll mention is the uh, the orange box uh, fabrication uh, Molly panels. Uh, absolutely love these. Sorry, toilet paper. You know, there's a pandemic going on right now, so I picked some up today. Uh, but the orange box pieces, uh, they can actually customize these. You'll see there I have the operation contingency with uh, Table Rock Mountain up to, um, up to, um, uh, goodness, I'm blanking, uh, Hawksville and uh, Brown Mountain. So, uh, but they can do these however you want them. And, and uh, before I got these drawers, I use these things a lot for my IFAC here, my first aid kit. Um, I'll use it when I am traveling and going on longer trips to like my chair up there to kind of bolt it in so it's not all sliding around everywhere. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I've got the patches. Uh, I don't know. I, I've got probably two dozen more patches that I, I got to add on to there, but uh, they're slowly coming. So that's it, guys. That's, um, that's a bit of a walk around. Uh, I really do, really, really do like this car a lot, and uh, I can't foresee actually doing this, doing anything with this car anytime soon. Um, it really is awesome, and I love it. So hope you guys enjoyed the walk around, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon.